So in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a uh, any kind of uh, hard drive that you bought that came in this like clear looking case and uh, you can tell if it if it's um, a fake hard drive because Xbox has this uh, Xbox 360 thing written on it and uh, this hard drive is just uh, blank on the top but inside of this is probably a Western Digital hard drive which would mean it'll run faster and it won't crash as much as a as a regular one that they put in in our Xbox 360 hard drive. But uh, and when you get these, or if somebody uh, modded it for you or whatever, and they gave you their the hard drive, but you put it in and, and you can't use the backwards compatibility, this tutorial is uh, going to show you how to make your hard drive backwards compatible. And um, so basically, this Xbox hard drive I will show you is uh, the regular one. And I'm going to use uh, Star Wars. And uh, yeah, my shell is taken off my Xbox. So it just kind of clips in there. And then uh, when you turn it on, it'll load up the disc. And then we'll go to the TV. Once you've gone ahead and started up your Xbox, um, well, I'm just going to show you that uh, on my 320 gigabyte hard drive that I have that I got from Microsoft the game works it loads up and uh, just gonna do it with uh, Star Wars and um, yep so there you go it says LucasArts Bioware Corp and all that stuff and <sighs> If I uh, skip the cutscene stuff, it goes to this and I can, I can play the game. But then when I actually turn off my Xbox, and then I, uh, I try to put in uh, this blank uh, CD thing, I mean a uh, hard drive, with, uh, with the real Xbox one, just pull it out, throw this in. And, uh, yeah, this thing kind of sucks. It just kind of doesn't even really clip in all the way. And then I, I turn it on. And now back to the Xbox. Now when I go to, uh, now that I turned on the Xbox and stuff, once it, uh, loads up here, uh, basically when you click on the, the game to start it up, it, um, I don't know, it just doesn't seem to work and then you bought a hard drive for nothing and you're all pissed off and whatnot and you're like oh man I can't play my backwards compatible games anymore but you don't need to worry cuz uh, once this loads up I'll show you what I mean with what's going on so basically you just click A to start up the game and uh, it, it's gonna immediately do that it's gonna say the game couldn't start try downloading the game again and uh, if I go back to my Xbox real quick, I mean my uh, my actual camera, uh, it it's the disc is in there, and um, up there still says it, but that disc is clearly in there. And you can take it out, and you can put it back in, and you can do whatever you want. But it it the dealio is it's not gonna work. So I'm here to show you how to fix this problem. And uh, what I use is a, a regular 20 gig hard drive. Um, actually, you don't even need this one. The real Xbox 360 hard drive. Bam. Uh, the fake one and uh, a transfer cable. And that's uh, about it. And then there's some programs that go along with these. So I'll help you with those on the computer. Okay, so now that you're um, on your computer, what you're going to want to do is open up this uh, Explorer 360 thing. And uh, you're going to want to open it up. And then you're going to want to plug in uh, the transfer cable 
for the uh, for the uh, hard drive. And then once you've uh, plugged it in, it should uh, come up on your uh, Explorer Explorer 360 thing. And um, Okay, so once you've opened up your Explorer 360 thing, you're going to want to go to this Partition 2, and you're going to want to uh, click on it. Well, actually, yeah, click on it. Uh, click Backup Partition 2. If you have a, you have to have a regular Xbox 360 hard drive. It can be any make, 20 gig, uh any of them. I'll uh, provide you with the partition though, but this is just in case you don't want to use my partition and you want to use your own. And uh, you back it up and then I just uh, back it up to the uh, desktop. But uh, yeah, so you click save and it, it takes a couple of seconds, but once it's backed up, uh, you can use it on any uh, hard drive that you get from somebody that uh, doesn't want to work backwards compatible and then once that's done you want to plug in the Xbox 360 uh, well you want to X out of this then you want to plug in the, the 320 that you got and then you're, what you're going to want to do is uh, use it Explorer 360 Extreme 2 because uh, it's the only one that loads big enough uh, hard drives like um, 320 or at least this is the only one that I've been able to get to run and uh, you right click it run an administrator and then you click yes so then it'll pop up and then you wanna open your drive but before I do that I'm just gonna show you what I like to do I like to uh, take apart the um, the actual hard uh, case to the three 360 the fat one because I only have this one transfer cable so all I had to do is take apart one hard drive any one that I wanted and um, then I uh, used that to plug into my computer and then it loads up like a 360 hard drive uh, using the fat one so go back to the computer and once you're back here you're going to want to run it as, a, as an administrator once you plug it in and then click yes then when you click drive open hard drive or memory card it'll open it up and then this partition 2 is what you need to restore you have to click restore partition 2 and then you have to find it on your desktop and then when you open it it'll restore it right onto your uh, to that your Xbox 360 hard drive and it only takes a couple of seconds to fix it but once it's done it'll uh, load up everything but then for this next part uh, I kinda forgot to mention that you may or may not need Xbox Live because I've yet to figure out uh, how to get it to work without needing to do some kind of update right from the beginning but basically, once you uh, once all that is done, you can go ahead and delete anything that you don't need anymore. So I'm just gonna toss them out, and uh, yep, delete them. Yep, and uh, back to the Xbox. So now that you've um, plugged in your uh, the hard drive that we've just done back in we will test the uh, Star Wars game and make sure that it works so now that your uh, Xbox is on again and we've gone through and done uh, the fixing of the partition 2 to run uh, to 
run backwards compatibility on regular Xbox games. Uh, as you can tell, I have um, so I just tried to run it without signing into an Xbox profile, and it told me that it uh, needed to um, needed some. It was missing something on the hard drive. So now when I sign into uh, an Xbox Live account, this is a silver one by the way, not my actual account, uh, I click it and it comes up with a download. For some reason, you need Xbox Live to do it. And uh, you click download and it now your Xbox uh, hard drive will run uh, perfectly normal like any other Xbox 360 hard drive should. And uh, I did it with a 320 gigabyte hard drive, so uh, anything under that, it works with that as well. And uh, thanks for watching the video. And um, yeah, thanks a lot. Subscribe, rate, whatever you want to do. Do nothing, I don't care. But I'll uh, see you later.